Fine Gael is determined that a robust plan for recovery will be at the heart of, of our budget. We need to restore people's confidence, their willingness to invest, their willingness to spend. And that's why job a job strategy will be absolutely at the heart of what we are trying to do. We also believe that we have to kickstart competitiveness in our economy once again and start a transformation that, that allows us to trade our way out of these difficulties. And all our, our uh, <coughs> actions that we have proposed in this budget are designed to make room for a genuine jobs budget. And I think that, that is absolutely vital. We simply can't tax our way out of, out of this problem. Last year, the government attempted to have three quarters of the adjustment come on the tax side. And that backfired spectacularly. You'll see the collapse <coughs> last month. The latest figures show that instead of increasing taxes by six billion as they intended, taxes have actually collapsed by eight billion. And they also concentrated the, the cuts in, in areas where they simply didn't deliver employment prospects. We believe that core to rebuilding confidence is that politics must lead the adjustment. It's crucial that people rebuild confidence by seeing leaders who are willing to make changes in the way politics work, who are, have a commitment to fairness and to purposefulness in what they do, and that that starts by, with politics itself the willingness, as Enda said, to, to reform politics itself. We also believe that a, a firm principle underpinning this budget is that the broadest shoulders must bear the biggest burden. We can't have a situation where it is those who are low paid, whether in the public service or elsewhere, who are bearing the brunt. We can't have a situation where people who can't work, people who are pensioners, are bearing the brunt. But yet we have to make room for job measures, and there are going to be difficult things in our, our package. But the emphasis in approaching how we adjust the public spending budget must be on protecting the frontline delivery and finding the savings <coughs> in the bureaucracy and in the cost structures. We must protect those who can't work and we must give the opportunity to the many people who have become unemployed to become active again. And those guiding principles are really what underpin our attempt to put to, to, together a, a, a budget. Uh, the, 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 the following figures, this table here, just shows you the, the big picture, if you like. We are delivering the 4,000 uh, million adjustment in the uh, budget that uh, everyone has agreed is necessary. And indeed, the international markets are now expecting it, as we've learned from commentators overnight. The balance we have struck is, is dramatically different. As you see, less than 1% of the adjustment is being found on the tax side, uh, compared to, as I said, three quarters of the adjustment last year on the governments. We are confronting the need to make savings in, in payroll. We're also focusing in on the whole agenda of reform of the way we deliver public services. And I think Colin McCarthy and his group performed a very important service in showing the way that can be done. But Fine Gael has gone beyond that and looked at other areas so that it's, we have not, if you like, religiously followed the McCarthy agenda, but we have used the McCarthy agenda as a useful input. We recognize also that social welfare has to make a contribution, but again, we are keeping it down to one-tenth of the, of the contribution. And in the capital area, we are protecting capital by putting 750 million transferred across into our new era project. We are, in addition, compared to government, we will be protecting capital by 250 million more than the government proposed. The government are proposing to cut by 750 million. We are proposing to spend 750 million by a transfer from the public capital program into new era and to protect 250 million uh, that the government would otherwise cut. And we're going to use that in, in imaginative ways.